Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Oh my god, I don't have money! What am I gonna do? Simulator called Yes, Your Grace. And we're here for episode 6. And let's talk to our general. Your Grace, I ran into a small bandit camp. They were keeping a merchant captive. I have helped him out and in return he gave me this gold. Oh, nice. Alright, we got Joven. Did we call him? Yes, we did. Uh, we got our merchant with the inn and we got our daughter. Audrey, what do you have to say? Oi, ba. I know we have some very pressing issues now, but... Oi, oh, oh, oh. Considering last week's incident, perhaps we should think about securing an heir, your grace. Because for those who forgot, this happened. Uh. Oh. Oh, Years are passing by and none of us are getting any younger. If you don't have a rightful heir, Ivo will be next in line. He's not a bad person, but it's likely Davin would just become a part of Etana. We're working on it with my wife. Rest assured, Aurelia and I are working on, a, on an heir. At this age, it's not so easy anymore. Of course, three daughters is already plenty, Your Grace. Let me worry about this once we have dealt with the Redovians. Joven, introduce yourself. Lord Joven, Your Grace. My condolences about Teresa's death. I have heard about Redovia. I will help you with them. 120 men will be at your command. I will also give you five gold. But only if Sir Frederick joins your ranks. I wouldn't want to upset him. Sir who? Battle for Brania? You must have heard. He let the defense force repel an army five times bigger. My superior officer, I served under his banner. Although it's been many years, we keep in contact. We train together. Recent years haven't been easy for him, I must say. Thank you, Joven. I'll send a pigeon right away. Not to worry, Your Grace. I'm sure Sir Frederick will help. It's just a formality. I have this animal too. Can you tell me anything about it? Hmm, you have an extensive library, Your Grace. Don't you have a bestiary you could look at? I don't think we'd, we keep this kind of book here. I don't either. I think someone who has personally dealt with a lot of animals would know more about this tooth. I have found a letter. It's written on a very intricately decorated parchment. Do you know anything about it? Some lords use fancy paper to show off their wealth, but I don't know anyone who does that. Will you join my banner? Convince Sir Frederick to join and I will also help your cause. Okay. You can go now. As you please, Your Grace. Merchant. I may not bother, no. Your Grace, I have hired a couple of guards to protect my tavern. They did a, a fantastic job, and I must say, even the panders are wary of me now. Ha ha ha. Make sure the girls are treated well and not and are not abused. This is great news. I hope you can you can keep it that way. I will, Your Grace. In fact, we have been doing so well that your profits will also increase. Wonderful, the kingdom values every source of income we have. Thank you for your help, Your Grace. I wish you all the best. Nice. More money, more money, more money. Peasants. Your Grace, I know you probably heard. Some of the house in our village caught on fire recently. We tried our, be our best to save it, but our new inn was too close to the other buildings. Is this the new inn I helped you build? Yes, Your Grace. I am very sorry. <laughs> this is what I get. This is karma for being an evil king. There's nothing left of it now. I hope everyone in the village is alright. No one was hurt in my inn, but I don't know about the others. I hope you understand that I will no longer be contributing to the kingdom's ki in income. Of course. To the prison. Oh well. We lost some money. Asalia. Father, I was wondering if we could practice the sword fighting again. Your mom is gonna kill me if I say yes. But I'm gonna say yes nonetheless. Perhaps later in the gardens? You said we could do this again, father. Very well. I had better keep to my promise then. 
Go on, you can warm up without me. I will catch you. I will catch up with you in a bit. Great, I will see you in the gardens. Off she goes. I'd better check up on her. All right. What we got? What we got on the map? Uh, other than a loading screen, nothing because we have to unlock more locations. Allies, we got Sir Frederick. Why not? Maybe he knows something about about the letters and stuff. And we keep well, it's ten. It's not going to be useful. So I'm paying him for nothing this week. Oh well. I like wasting money. Who's this? Maya. Introduce me, Asalia. Yes, father. Uh, who's this? I see you already found someone to practice to practice with. Well, I'm not going to wait for you all day, am I? You literally just walked here, okay? Two minutes ago. Anyway, I haven't seen you before. Who are you? This is Maya. Remember when I sneaked out to the wedding party? The one you were not supposed to go to? Uh, yeah, well, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, that's when I met Maya. We had fun at the wedding. I thought it would be nice if she came to visit. Your grace? See, I can never get her. You're good with the sword, I have to admit. Who taught you to fight like this, Maya? My father is a swordsman. He showed me a few tricks. Can I hire him? And he lets you play with swords. Maya says you need to be ready when the enemy strikes. And you never know when they will strike. Ha! That's what my father says. Your accent. I can't quite place your accent. You're not from around here, are you? Mm. My parents are from Beravia. We're passing by and stopped in the capital for a couple of weeks. That's awfully far from here. Where are your parents now? They have business in the market. They let me venture around. Yes, they're traveling merchants. Sort of. Maya was showing me some fancy sword tricks she learned on their journeys. Interesting. A tradesman who knows how to fight. I would love to meet your parents one day. Tell them they have my invitation. Thank you, your grace. I will pass on the invitation. They'll surely be happy to visit. My pleasure. I wanted to ask you about Sidani. Looking at you too, I think I know why Sidani wants to stab people. Isn't there any chance that you talked uh, her into it? Oh, so you've heard about, about the stabber. Yes, I did. Don't look at me. Sidani so came up with that name. Sidani so really wanted to practice with us, but to talk her out of it, we had to come up with something else she could do. You should be happy she's not turning around with the real sword, father. <sighs> what am I going to do with you? I will head off now. Just don't cut yourselves. I will leave you to it. Just don't come screaming if you cut your fingers off. Thank you, father. He won't. Yeah, yeah. These roses make this place smell amazing. It's very calming. No wonder our girls like to spend time here. Anyway, we still have nothing on the uh, on the ongoing investigation. Hello, pumpkin. Uh, Audrey said I can recruit evidence. Anything new? Oh, we got something new. The general found out that the northern lords. Yeah, but nothing new. Christian suspects. And we still need to find a hunter. Got anything to say, pumpkin? Your oh, grace? Pet stabber. Do you mind if I pet him? Not at all, your grace. Just don't. Ouch! Stab yourself. I think uh, this girl is gonna turn out very wrong. Alright, let's end the week. There's an agent still available for orders. Right, but what can I do with you? Absolutely nothing. No pigeon. I can't do anything with you. Alright. Let's end the day. The week. Our army.
economy is nice. Uh, we're losing quite a bit of... Uh, I'm gonna use the stables. So I can send uh, Stan to do anything. Keep him busy. Not gonna let him confine the, in his quarters forever. Oh, Sir Frederick. Peasant uh, mercenary. I like that. Dear King of Davrin, the western woods near Branca are not uninvolved in your troubles. An uncommon object can lead you to the sinner. Be quick. Yours sincerely. Cowboy. Hmm. This letter has no seal. What do you think of this, Audrey? I will, I will. Whoever sent this letter must have gone to great length to, to pay a scribe to write it. Do it boy. This must be important. We'd better send a general to these woods to see what the matter is. Boy. I have marked this location on the map for you, Your Grace. Alright, let's check, let's check the pigeon. I have already read the letter. Okay, nothing. Just Sir Frederick coming back. Let's check the map. Got new locations. Got a hidden hut, hopefully with the witch. Alright, Sir Frederick. Hmm, what voice? At your service, your grace. I'm looking for allies. Would you be one of them? Ah, uh, yes, I have heard of your troubles, your grace. Radovians lack proper training, but gods know what they have at their disposal. My 80 men, 4 gold, and 2 supplies will be a great boon. As a noble knight, it is my duty to help those in need. However, I can't allow liars to taint a knight's honor. The battle for Branya, Keldu. Under my command, the army of the two-headed birds was defeated. I have lost three fingers in my time. I have endured many broken bones. But Noxy, not a single scar. Even the finest swordsman bears scars. Many have fought and died. That Noxy... Show me a single person who can, who can confirm his accomplishments. Someone who actually saw him in a fight, for all we know, it's just prettily worded lies. Nox is a, deceiv a deceiving liar, and I ask you to help me prove it. Noxy, this fellow got well under your skin, who is he? Noxy the dragon slayer, he calls himself. Thinks he's a knight, but he's far from it. He usually travels around quite a bit, but I hear people have seen him around Davern recently. If you meet him, he'll sure tell you the same story he tells everyone. There was something about a griffin and a tree. He sets the tree on fire, the big griffin comes to save her curbs, but catches her, wing on f her wings on fire. Drops down and he finishes off. <laughs> Doesn't matter. It's always the same story, different details. I've heard enough. What is it that you need me to do? Tell him there's a li lichage in the nearby forest. The creature's just a story and of course it's not there. See what, he's, what, what he says though. If he brings you proof then we catch him red handed. Help me show everyone what you're really made of and I will stand by your side in one more battle. That's all. That, would, that will be all for now. As you please. All right, peasant. Babe, babe. Your grace, I wanted to see you about my missing potatoes. Someone must have stolen them, and I think I know who it was. Hey, babe. They say only one request per visit, and it seems like I have a much bigger problem now. Hey, babe. I come from afar, and by the time I arrived, I was very tired. Hey, babe. I wanted to get some rest, and I sat on one of the fine chairs in the hall. Babe. I know I shouldn't have. But the gods have punished me already. I have sat down on some living pink cushions, it, was, it would seem. It squeaked and I jumped up right away. When I stood up, my bottom was all covered in spikes. Not only that, but I feel very ill, weak even. I fear the chair creature has poisoned me. What can I do? Well, you got stabbed, my friend. The stabber? Oh no, it sounds very serious. I'm not sure what we can do here. Who are you? I think I might have something that will help. A witch? Name's Alina, your grace. I know about brewing potions. I can help with magical anomalies, diseases. I double in wound healing also. A witch. Aye, some may call me that. 
Although I prefer to see myself just as a well-read woman. At your service. We could definitely use someone like this to help out our people, Your Grace. They would be a great addition to our roster of agents. What's the, what's the catch? What do you hope to gain from this? Ah, of course. There's always something people want in return, right? I am a simple woman. All I need is a roof over my head and something to eat. In return, I am willing to lend your kingdom my aid in any supernatural problems. I just want to help people. Thank you. Welcome to our castle in that case. Don't cost me a lot of money, please. It's my honor, your grace. I will also be able to help you during the battle if you need me. Zidani won't be uh, happy about the stabber. I better let her know. I'll see you if you have any useful books in the council chamber, your grace. You will be able to see the expenses for the witch in the weekly summary, your grace. We can just pay her whenever we need her. That's great. Alright, it's time for magic. Peasant. Your Grace, Pendle, our village has been raided. There were men dressed in red and black with a beast's head pierced by a spear on their banners. That's a Redovian army for certain, Your Grace. This means they are getting closer to us, or, peha or perhaps they're just teasing us. Teasing. People being killed. My maid and enslaved is just teasing. Your Grace, it didn't look like an entire battalion. But I've been just a small squad. Send us your men. We can fight back. You're clearly, you're clearly emotional, but we have to look at the bigger picture here. If we fight them off, they will certainly get angry and fight back with more force. We don't want to start the battle early. And, tolerate, and tolerating their attacks may encourage them to carry out many more. Your Grace, you have to do something about this. We can't just let them trample our lands. Hmm. War! Time for war. We will fight back. I will send in my best man. Thank you, Your Grace. I knew you would listen to your people. That's right. This will show them we're no people to West Men. Mercenary. Your Grace. We hear of the upcoming battle. It's a perfect time for us to gain some coin and an opportunity for you to get some help. We're mercenaries, 22 skilled men at your disposal for only 16 gold. What'd you say? Uh, next week. Okay. I'm not interested in your offer. Fine, we'll be back in two weeks. Maybe you will change your mind by then, or get your our gold ready. Alright, fair enough. Fair enough, fair enough. Alright, we got Sir Frederick. Now we have to invite Noxy. Though I would like to talk to the other lords, but I think we have time. Audrey, anything? Nope. Okay. Map. Let's check on the witch first before sending her uh, somewhere. We got something, pigeon? Nope. Witch. Where's the witch? Ah, oh, here. Didn't see you. Your Grace, how um, how can I help? That's all. I'll be on my way. May the spirits guide you. Where's Taber gone? Your Grace? I bring news about the hedgehog. So Danny, he's dead. The, the Taber? Oh no, this is all my fault. I know I shouldn't have sent him on the mission. I knew he wasn't ready. Tell me, did he complete his mission? At least, his final quest? Mission? What mission, Zidani? Did you send the hedgehog on a mission? Yes, an undercover mission. He was meant to scout the area, retrieve information and return to me. This way, if he helped me, I would owe him a promise, like in the story, father. <sighs> you can't do this. They can hardly follow any instructions. That's why they're good. No one suspects a hedgehog. A hedgehog. How else was he supposed to help me? Please don't do it again. Stop. The last ones tapped the peasant and I had to deal with it. But 
I was so close to turning him to turning him to a prince. Now Lord Sulia will never come back. I suppose you're right. Forgive me, your grace. Nothing is as elegant, as fearless as a cat, as dusty. Next time, I will find a fiercer agent. I will train him, he will be at my command. The stabber's effort were not in vain. What's it, Danny? Pumpkin. What am I gonna do with you? Anything I can do. Expert. No. Uh, Alright. Got something to say, Alina? Nope. Oh. The, sp the spirits guide you too. Alright. Let's send the witch. Because we can. Uh, two weeks. Oof. Bye bye. Alright, let's end the week. Yeah. Alright, what do we got? Tables, it's done. Prepare the witch. Do I need to pay her if she's away? She's gonna be away for a few weeks. It said she was she was gonna be gone for two weeks, so I'm not gonna pay her. Prepare the witch. Uh, prepare the bat. Prepare for the battle. Uh. All right. Save and continue. And I will see you on the next episode of Yes, Your Grace.